Hi guys, this is Prompt Engineer and today I'm going to show you the Mojo platform that I have received today that is on the 7th of May 2023. Uh, this is a new programming language and I requested to use the playground and selected few have received the uh, playground uh, to play with. <laughs> so this is the mail that I've received from, uh, uh, from Modular. So Prompt, uh, you can access the Mojo playground now. So these are the documentations. Let me open uh, each one of them. So this is the documentation that is available. Next is the FAQ, check out the answers. This is already, I think, it was already available before uh, the playground was allowed. We can join the Discord. Uh, let's go to the playground then. Access Mojo Playground. That's a Jupyter Notebook. And we have different files here. So the first the basic one is Hello Mojo file. We're excited to introduce you to Mojo with this interactive notebook. Mojo is designed as a super set of Python, so this so a lot of language features and functions are the same. For instance, a hello world program in Mojo looks exactly like it does in Python. So print hello world. So I'll just run it. So hello Mojo. Next, we can also define a main function and print, uh, write a print statement, print hello world, and call the main function. So just run it, hello world. As uh, And uh, as we'll show later, you can also import existing Python packages. That is very good to know and use them like you're used to. But Mojo provides a ton of powerful features on top of Python. So that's what we'll focus on this notebook. Let's get started. The let and var declarations. So these, uh, there are two new declarations. Uh, uh, to support this, uh, Mojo lets uh, you support uh, let and var declarations, which introduce a new scope runtime value. So let is immutable and var is mutable. So when you define a function as with uh, your function with a and b as inputs so let c is equal to a so we define the c we let c equal to a which means c is now immutable now if c is not equal to b we let d equal to b and print d so let's run this so we get three because we are printing out d but let's try to uncomment this so we are trying to declare c again as b now this time it gives the error where c is declared here expression and invalid mutation of immutable type c value so that's great so let me again comment this out and run this. Another example, def your function is let x is an integer type uh, with an initialization value of 42. Let y a floating type, an integer value, a floating type and a value of 17.0. And let, which is an immutable type, z variable is a floating point with no initialization. Now if z is not equal to zero, sorry, x is not equal to zero, we put z equal to one, else we put z equal to foo and print z. So foo is again defined as a, a floating point number, but no initialization, and we return 3.14. So we're going to run this. We get 1 because z is not equal to 0. Now if we put z equal to 0 here, we can run this and see the return as 3.14. I'm going to return it back to the original value. Struct types. Structs are basically uh, classes. Uh, these are similar to many way to classes. However, where classes are extremely dynamic, we dynamic dispatch dynamic methods swizzling and dynamically bounded instance properties structs are static bounded compile time and are inlined into a container instead of being implicitly indirected or indirect or reference counted here's an example of struct so a struct my pair it's a variable which is mutable first uh, variable is an integer second variable is also an integer and we define the init uh, method it takes in self the first is int second is int first and second and then we have another function here defined we have a strong type checking uh, because as you already run this, my pair was uh, this function. Oh, where is that? Okay, my pair was this function. So once we run this, now we can do the strong type checking. Define pair test, uh, uh, just a boolean. Let p. So when you say let, it is immutable. And now if you run this, it should give, an, give you an output. But for example, if you uncomment this, because you're trying to declare p again, then you get an expression error because we are trying to change a p or compare um, with p which is uh, an, an unmutable because immutable um, value immutable variable because we have used let here now i will go through the other uh, methods and other new features later um, let me show you this matrix multiplication library so matrix multiplication in mojo this notebook describes how to write a matrix multiplication in Mojo. We'll start with a pure Python implementation. Transition to a naive implementation is essentially a copy of the Python one. So the initial one, we can run this. Uh, the initial implementation is this. And importing the Python implementation to Mojo, then we get 
a speed increase of about 14 times over Python. When we add types uh, to the Python implementation, we get an increase of about 310 times speed up over Python. When you're vectorizing the innermost loop, we get speed of 572 speed up over Python, about 570. Parallelizing the matrix multiplication, uh, we get speed of about 22,000 times over Python. And tiling in the matrix multiplication, tiling is an optimization performed for Matmul to increase cache locality. The idea is to keep submatrixes resident in the cache and increase the reuse. The tile function itself can be written in module. So when you use the tile function, we give, you get a speed of about 2200 times. And searching for the tile factor, we'll get a good tile factor, then we get an increase of about 4000 times speed over Python. So this is really huge. I'm excited to learn all this uh, more and it will bring you up and bring up more such videos uh, when I do more interactions with this new programming language called Mojo. So that's it. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.